Good morning everybody, welcome to the channel. We are here at the development block and obviously I need to work on my camera skills because I just pointed it straight at the sun. Hopefully he doesn't go too fast for me to catch up. Oh, the things I do to get the action shot. I hope that slow motion was worth it. So we're doing about nine and a half k's on the uh, on the planter, so it's fairly hooking along. Oh man, I need to exercise more. Right, well I'm gonna hop on the grasshopper here and do another load. A few of you have been wondering where Dad has been. Um, he was on holidays for about three weeks, and then yeah, just slowly getting back into things. Um, he's currently just in the men's room, so we'll just leave him be for a little bit. But he here we go here we go he's done he's done <laughs> i just said i just said you're in the men's room oh um but yes you were away for three weeks had a good time away and then you're back and just getting into it eh? trying to get as many coffees in Try, trying to get back into it you've just been uh doing the town trips haven't you because we we haven't had that for a few weeks so we're making the most of someone going to town most days yeah and everyone you boys told me when I got home that when I disappeared that no bills were coming in. Yeah, no, that was that's probably it's probably a good thing, but it is very handy to have parts picked up when you need them picked up. You just gotta put some blinkers on you so you can't see out to the sides when you're walking into shops. Yeah, no, I always see, see the specials. <laughs> no, no, no specials, but those those little tools and gadgets, <laughs> you know, just you know there's a place for them on the in the business but they're going to be used at some point <laughs> you know that like the day i come home with four um four uh, light bars yes because they're about 25 percent off or something yeah yeah and a bit like the time when you come home with four jump start packs or yeah. four fridges yeah. or yeah. yeah the list goes on and on i have little <laughs> moments little fetishes there i have a run on things but i don't go buy ferraris or lamborghinis or anything like that probably would have added up to one of them no <laughs> anyway, so that's where he is. He's back. I'm he, checking, um, out, I'm checking out the board. Yeah, we, we've got it. We've got it working now. Yeah. So it looks like we've got a switch run to the tank. So yeah, it's going to be a bit better set up now. It's a little floaty switch uh, because we're bleeding off the the water, uh, two thirds of the water. Um, then we can't just use a pressure switch on the tank. So we have to use. So we're using a proximity switch. So, oh well. Actually, it's one of those floppy little float valves with a ball in it, you know, that when it when the float goes up like that, it turns the, yes. yep. the switch off. So it's working well. Oh, yeah. Well, it's full of water, so that's good. Yeah. So, anyway, I better get back to it, but that's where he is. He is around. He's um, he's just as enjoyed just minding his own business for a bit. So, he'll, um, he's still got his camera, so he'll, he'll pick it up soon. Well, guys, just like that, it's the next morning. Yesterday was very uneventful which is great so I was spraying Phil was planting and nothing really happened other than the GPS dropped out again for another half hour or so but um, yeah it came back online but we do have the pad getting laid 
um, for the other two silos. So that will be good. You know how I said it was uneventful. We had all the canola seed on the back of Phil's ute and I think he hit this bump too hard last night. He must have been pretty keen to get home. But it doesn't look like any... Yeah, it doesn't look like anything spilled, but <laughs> it skidded for a while. I think there's another one up there too. Deary me, Philip. I think, I think that might be $600 a bag, so don't want to be doing that. Glad they come in a good bag. We better get some fertilizer in the bin. Phil come and help me anyway. Good positioning. See if I can get it in. Maybe I need glasses. I don't know how far that is. There we go. Run some seed through. Yeah, right oh. Right oh, I'll drive it a little bit forward so we're not confused with our other piles. And we'll test make sure we've got action on every every row. Clutch is a bit jerky first thing in the morning, so we'll see how we go here. Oh, that's not too bad. Righto. Um, what am I doing here? Manual speed, activate. We've got fan speed. Got stuff coming out. Yeah, I 
That should do. Oop, what have I done here? Pushing the wrong thing. Top up the fertilizer while we're here. I don't know how many bags I put in, I'll let Phil do that. So 231 hectares so far. That's not too bad. We're probably 40% of the canola done. That was just my quick maths, that might be off. So I'll give you the whole works of what we generally do when we're um, yeah, checking out the planter each time we fill up. So we pick a row, we go, we check, make sure that there's fertilizer there. It's hard to see the canola, but you usually just check, usually you can see one or two, and then you just have to hope for the best. Make sure the points are all right. We have already gone through and replaced a couple. Uh, make sure there's nothing obvious. So you just keep going from side to side, walk through, looks good, come out. Then we go down this one, because I've already done those two rows, so then we walk through this one. Looks good. Make sure we don't have any loose seed boots, that sort of thing. Still just checking that we can see some canola seed. Make sure we don't hit our head on anything. Usually at some point you do smack your back or your head on that. Not today though, hopefully. Phil's in his natural habitat on the phone. Organising, fixing all the broken down gear we've got. But we're planting, that's the main thing. It's a very important time of the year, so. As I realised uh, I haven't done the most important thing of a, of a planting vlog and that's to have a bit of a scratch see if I can find any seed make sure it's going in right I know Phil's been doing a lot of that that's he uh, yeah he's Mr Perfectionist um, but I'll see if I can find a good spot here where I can show you guys uh, this looks like as good as any Get my pocket knife out. I'll go over here. So you brush away the loose stuff with your hand and then we can find a bit of a hard pack. So that's what the press wheels have done. They've packed the soil in. So we should be able to just pop that up, break that up. Now canola is hard to see, so usually you've got to dig a dig a fair way. There it is. Look at that. Pop straight up. That there. And this is some of the first stuff we sowed about two days ago, and it's already sprouted. So that is that's incredible, actually. So we've got the hard band there where the press wheels, it's not too hard, you can you can break that up pretty easy with a finger, but that helps to push the soil around the seed to make sure it's got good contact with the moisture. The seed is about an inch, maybe a smidgen over an inch deep, um, 
and then there's probably there's probably not quite an inch of soft stuff um yeah just loose soil over the top of that so it's probably down the seeds are probably down an inch and a half but they're about an inch into good moisture so that is really good so the worry is is if you've only got seed into say um you know five mil or what's that quarter of an inch of soil good wet soil then if you do have a really dry windy day or something you run the risk of drying out that seed before it gets a chance to germinate or drying out the moisture around it before it gets to germinate so you want it to go in deep enough so it's protected but if you go in too deep then the seed can struggle to um, yeah come out which is a big problem obviously so anyway I uh, pleased with that I usually when you're trying to look for canola it can take like five minutes to find a seed but that one that one popped straight up and it was sprouted so that's good it's like we're burning some piles of wood on the fence line they've been there for quite a while so that'll be good to tidy them up it's looking good it's a nice big one there nice to have that all sorted. Um, there has been some other developments though with some other machinery. Looks like yeah we've got a grader that is down. Um, looks like it's transmission. So it is a high power machine. Um, so these things do happen. It is very disappointing. Um, a new one is about $70,000. But we are hoping that we don't need a new one. We're hoping that um, it possibly was caught early enough that we don't need to yeah, do a lot other than maybe replace the bearing or do it. Check out for any other damage. So yeah, that's machine number four that's down because I don't know if we've mentioned it before, but the dump truck has done a head. Another disappointment. But at least the dump truck isn't a main um, farming operation machine, so um, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that in due time. Guys, I thought I'd just stick you out the window for a little bit, or the door technically, so you can have a look at the sunset. I don't know how well it actually comes up on the GoPro. Might be a bit noisy. Thanks again everyone for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.